Hi, my name is Hontle. I want us to discuss business partnership. Before we get on with this video, let me just make a disclaimer. I'm not a business expert. I'm just your regular friend that, you know, finds out and experiences things. So of late, what has been occupying my mind and my time is really researching on business partnership. Business partnership, in a nutshell, is just when two or more people get together for the sake of making profit. Let us look at three advantages, three disadvantages, and give a piece of advice and boom, that will be it. Buggle up. The first advantage is that one, you do not need to, there's minimal or no need for a loan. Remember when you're entering into a partnership, or into when you're starting a business, maybe it's because you're broke or whatsoever. So really it's hard for you to, to secure a loan when you are broke. And it's always nice to start a business when you, without debt. So when it, when it's a partnership type of agreement, you get together with whoever you want to do the agreement with, you cast out money, and then you start the business. Simple as that. The other advantage that I have is that of um, a pool of expertise. When you're in a partnership, for example, maybe it's the four of you, the other one is a lawyer, the other one is an administrator, the other one is 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 into marketing and advertising the other one is into um accounts you start a business there's no need for you to outsource people to come in and do all those things for you because you can all just do it for yourself within the business and that saves you money um the other advantage is that you get to share stresses business can be very um demanding stressful tedious so if you have someone to share that stress with on those demands with, it really takes, it's really much better, you know, rather than having to face all those stresses alone, having to deliver alone, having to just, just run a one man show. Yeah. So the first disadvantage that I have is that, um, is that you, one, you get to share debt. Whether or not the debt is due to the fact that the other partner was negligent or the other partner was just careless or just whatever, you need, you are always going to be sharing that debt equally amongst yourselves. Imagine, imagine we're in a partnership whose spending habits are just all over the place, who does not really have a relationship with money. And when money just hits the account, they need to spend it. And you have to account for that. So really. That is just stressful. Like that is just so so stressful. The other one is just that is that of um, disagreements and disputes with, within the the partnership. They can delay or drag decision making processes. Imagine you are in a partnership with someone that needs to be heard all the time, or that someone that says, you know what, it's either my way or just, you know. Imagine that, because obviously we are, when entering into a partnership, you're entering with people that are raised different from you, that believe different, that value different, different principles and everything else. And all four of you or all three of you need to be on board when, when it comes to decision making. So really, that is just a bit stressful again. And then um, the third one is that of unequal commitment. I have experienced it. Whereby you're in a partnership with someone, 50-50 partnership, just equal. And then when they have um, a five to eight job, you are there trying to hustle for the business full time. The other person only comes in the afternoon or in the evening. But then month end, you share profits equally. That is not fair. That is really not fair. <laughs> and then um, my piece of advice on partnership now that we've looked at the advantages and disadvantages is that um you need to have a clear contract clear guidelines and clear a clear agreement on what you're going to do if maybe one wants to leave the company if one wants to is not really cooperative and maybe you want them out if one dies you need to have a contract for that before it happens because I know when it starts, it's all roses. But then when things become hard, especially when you're not making profit and things are just tough, one would want to leave, one would be difficult to work with, and one maybe would die. And then the other 
ad- piece of advice that I have is that you look for you need to look for people that compliment you. Don't just enter into a partnership with your best friend because you want to spend more time together. You need to find people that compliment you in such a way that if you are the people who compliment you, even um, okay, let me give an example, like I have above. Um, if you're an accountant, you need to find maybe someone who is an administrator. You need to find out someone who is a lawyer you need to find some just different expertise so that you may have those that pool of expertise that we talked about previously and then also even personality wise you know that people who are good at making sure that things are well in order in the office things are going smoothly and that things who are that people who are good at you know meeting and greeting people socialize socializing kissing babies you need that you know imagine you're in a partnership with someone who's office and book smart and know someone who's street smart good partnership and also um you need to find oh you need to be ready to give when you're in a partnership be ready to say okay fine fine i'm not so passionate on this area so you make the decisions you know don't always be that person who wants to be heard all the time you don't be that someone who's just passionate about everything passionate of how you put um your mat Passionate of how you put the cup down. Passionate on how you, what, what kind of people you hire. Just passionate about everything. Can you just give other people a chance? Can you just do that? Is that so hard? And then the other one is that you need to just limit the number of people in a partnership. Limit the number of people in a partnership. Less people, less drama. Thank you.